libraries like ours, and hundreds of thousands of others around the world, organized by the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Designed by Melville Dewey in 1876, it changed the way libraries operated forever by arranging books according to subject, or near enough, instead of by the date they were added to the library. But the thing is, the Dewey Decimal System doesn't always make the most amount of sense. So let's start at the only natural place to begin. The very, 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 very end. The beauty of the Dewey Decimal System is that no matter where a book has come from, you can always tell where it goes. It's a practically perfect system. And it only took 23 editions and 15 revised editions? A paragon of organizational achievement since day one. Before it was moved online and received dozens of quarterly updates and revisions since 2012? Practically perfect in every way? The general idea is that subjects were divided into 10 classes by discipline. Things like science, history, and philosophy, which were divided into ten further divisions, like the history of Europe, Asia, South America, etc., which are divided into ten sections, like the history of New Zealand, New Zealand. the Arctic, and extraterrestrial worlds, giving us the three-digit number we all recognize today. These sections are further subdivided. Hold on, did you say extraterrestrial worlds? I did. I don't know what to do with that information. But Dewey did. When you think about it, it actually starts to make some sense. The Dewey Decimal System was designed to ensure there will be a proper place for all information, past, present, and future. So while there weren't, and still aren't, any civilizations on other planets with histories to record, it doesn't mean there won't be. That seems like an enormous amount of foresight for a man who moved to Florida on purpose. And in fairness, it was added in a later edition. Oh. Well, that does make some sense. If the library weren't constantly growing and changing, how could we continue to serve a community and society that is constantly growing and changing? Exactly. So while we may not have too much on the history of extraterrestrial planets... At the moment... We'll be prepared for the day when we need to. And imagine the glory when they arrive on the shelves. Yay! Woo! Yay! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Developed in 1876 by Melville Dewey. <laughs> Dozens of quarterly updates and revisions since 2012. <laughs> There's a glare on the magnifying glass. Okay, glass. you can turn off the light. Hmm, the bindings broke on that. No. George Lopez show. Okay.